there is no awareness about gender based violence and even if there is people don't want to like admit it people think gender based violence and all forms of gender based violence are very private it doesn't concern me so i shouldn't be talking about it like seen days of activism is a very important moment that allows ngos like us in and other institutions to bring this kind of awareness to the public and this awareness time and again is very very important so that people understand that violence any form of gender based violence is not a private matter it's a public matter and it needs to be addressed so if you are facing violence i think the first thing you need to understand and bear in mind is first of all recognize what is violence most of the time you may not be able to recognize what violence is and it's very important you understand all subtle forms of violence physical is very easy to understand but if there are other forms of violence like gender based household maltreatment neglect emotional violence please try and understand the signs and symptoms second is once you have understood that you are undergoing violence asking for help is very important and help is available you shouldn't be facing violence all by yourself and not asking for help so help would be available you can either approach your family members and they can help you out to connect you to formal institutions and formal structures where you can ask for help number 3 go to the police there is a provision by the police if you are undergoing any kind of physical sexual assault or violence you can go and file a non organizable offence that will help you the police will intervene in these cases the second is in extreme situation you can also ask to file a first information report you need to do that the fourth is again very important is going to a public hospital of course now public and private hospitals are mandated to record abuse go to a hospital and record your abuse if it is physical violence sexual assault it is very important that you record it of course you also need medical attention but along with that recording your abuse and assault will help you in the future with all your legal proceedings and the fifth and very important is please contact ngo you you require counseling going through a long period of ambivalence and abuse can really cause you a lot of distress and it is important that you talk to someone who can help you release this distress and who can help you think through uh, how you can deal with your family what can you do in the future we need collective action to end gender based violence every small intervention can make a difference you can make a difference